What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a flashback effect in Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what you'll be creating. Now before I get into this video, I'd just like to say a huge thank you for 9,000 subscribers, it is a massive milestone for me, so thanks for that. And also, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, be sure to leave it in the comments below, ask me on Skype, ask me on Twitter, ask me wherever you would like, and I'll be sure to make the video for you as soon as I can. Okay, so this is really simple to do. Now the first thing I've actually added for you is a flashback, a sound effect, which is a harp. It's going to be our media fire, it'll look like this, all you need to do is come here and click download. And then you're going to be redirected here, you can go ahead and download it here, as you can see, virus free, and just download it like that, nice and quick. Now I'm going to be demonstrating this effect in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. So you can see we've got this team here, we're going to make it flashback to this team right here. So there is a difference if you didn't see that right there. So it's really simple to do this effect. So you've got two clips here, one which is going to be the standard normal clip, and one which is going to be the flashback clip. Now of course you don't have to have a flashback and a normal clip, you can just have a flashback clip on its own. Okay, so first of all you want to make sure that the clips are together like this. Now we're going to add the little transition which is going to make it go into the flashback. So it's a flashback, obviously I recommend flash. And you can just go ahead and add any one you would like, I'm going to add the default one, so you go ahead and just drag it into the middle like that. And then we can just go ahead and change this to white, the tint. Now from here you can see it hasn't come up, so we're just going to drag this video left. And now if we play this through, it's going to flash into that one like so. So now we actually have to add more effects to this. Just before we get further, if you don't have this video box right here, all you need to do is come to View, click Windows Layout, and click Default Layout. Then everything should come back to normal. Or of course you can just come here, select Video Effects, and also Transitions. Now there's one last thing we need to add to this and it is color corrector. So you'll need to come here and add blue mid-tones. Go ahead and drag it on like this. Now I've got a preset set up so you won't have this. So this is what you need to do. You need to copy the settings I've got right here. So come to low, copy them settings. So pause the video right there and just copy them. Now come to mid, pause the video again, just copy them. Then come to high, pause the video and just copy that. Now the stuff at the bottom you don't really need to change. But up here, we need to go ahead and move the color corrector in front of the glow. And there's the little effect that's just happened right there. Now to save it as a preset, all you need to do is come up here, call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it that. Then just go ahead and click save. And now you'll see if I click this, there it is right there. So you can just come here, click on it, and you're going to have all the settings saved. You won't have to remember these numbers. So yeah, that is the flashback effect done. Let's go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. Nice and simple. And you can see it's got a nice flashback effect. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. But hopefully you do like it. It is a pretty good effect. And it's probably the best one you're going to get in Sony Vegas. Okay, so that is it for this video. Hopefully this video has helped you and you now know how to make a flashback effect. And also don't forget the description where I'll add this. A flashback sound effect, which is the harp of sound effects. And yeah, that'll be in the description on Mediafire. If the link is broken at some point, be sure to leave it in the comments below. It doesn't matter when it's broken, it can be in two years time, I'll fix the link for you. So yeah, be sure to go ahead and check out my Twitter page where I'll just go ahead and post updates of what I'm doing and when I'm going to be uploading. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post four times a week and just go ahead and play random games on that. And finally be sure to go ahead and add me on Snapchat where I'll just go ahead and show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Thank you.